assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome back to learn daily physics so today you can see on your screen that we are going to discuss discuss what polarization drift is what is polarization current density because last time we have seen a relationship for polarization current density and uh, it was topic 2.5 and this is the topic for polarization current density j is for the current density and the p is for the polarization and today we are going to describe this equation in my previous lecture i told you this uh, polarization velocity and uh, today from this polarization velocity we are going to find out this polarization drift polarization current density okay so let's see that Previously, uh, we talked about uh, the wave function for the electric component because we were talking in, in my previous lecture. I told you that this equation, polarization drift, only arises when we have time varying electric field. How I proved that? Let's have a look again that uh, we have a wave function of electric field like this okay this is our wave function for the electric field and uh, propagating wave this is a wave function for the propagating wave where omega is equals to the natural frequency when you say you have an electric field we say that we have electric field this is from my previous so what is omega Let's talk that a field is moving in this direction and the electric field is moving in this is x and the electric field is moving like this okay electric field is moving in this direction so t is increasing in this direction so now it is varying this is a sinusoidal variation in electric field okay and this is a propagating wave along x-axis now this is half of the cycle and this is half of the cycle 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi okay and we know that the frequency is equal to this could make a cycle whole cycle and at the time period in which the reciprocal of the time period in which it comes here is the frequency of this electric field which we call omega omega is the oscillating frequency with which frequency this is oscillating this wave is oscillating okay and let's talk about that when this field is if you look in your previous diagram the diagram for the gyration we said that for there is a gyration like this and for positive there is a gyration like this okay the positive charge moves in this direction and for the positive electric field it moves in this direction downward so this was the case for the gyration okay so let's talk move on now you understand what this omega is this omega is not omega c omega c is the cyclotron frequency and this omega is natural frequency of oscillation electric field is oscillating with the frequency for, of which the electric field is oscillating with now if we take the time derivative of this equation okay so let's name it as equation number one if we take the time derivative of this equation 1 then you can see that this equation comes to be the time derivative of equation 1 now we can write this one if you see this term here this term here is equals to the above equation 1 e of x is similar to this equation and this is equals to e of x then we can write this term as e of x iota omega e of x now what we are going to do is 
we are going to write the formula which we have derived in our previous lecture for drift velocity this is a formula for the drift velocity we already derived so from this we are putting the value of this e of x uh, no not still not here but we are putting this value if you have seen this equation equation number two we've called from this equation number two this factor here you can see or this factor above factor here is equal to this e x dot the time derivative of this e x dot so from this v of p is equals to this term e x dot divided by b omega c and this e x dot can be written in the form of partial by partial t in the form of derivative with respect to time so we have written this e of x dot in the form of time derivation we already uh, have done this but now because we are discussing polarization drift in detail and we are going to calculate the current charge density current density polarization current density by using this drift velocity so it's necessary to in understand what polarization drift is and why it's been occurring in our case so this is a formula final formula for v of p okay now you can see if you look in your formula we have a partial by partial t e x and it don't have a dot here okay it is it don't have dot okay so let's see that if i'm going to rewrite this plus minus v of p is equals to plus minus 1 over omega c b partial by partial t e of x this is b of z but uh, i'm written i'm writing this in general only b okay you can see now if our electric field is time constant if electric field if e of x is equal to time constant it's not varying with respect to time then we can say that partial by partial t of e of x or the d, d by d of t of this e of x equals to will be equal to zero if this term equals to zero so from using this equation a we can say that our v of p is zero and we only have a component v of e as in our case for the position varying electric field we have done i think 2.4 topic 2.4 in which we talk about the varying electric field and in that we only have the value of v of e and v of p was zero for that because it was time constant our electric field was time constant so now our field is not time constant and for varying electric field we have a, another term another polarization which is called a polarization drift so now let's see that what is polarization current density okay what is polarization current density let's talk about that so due to the polarization drift some net current will flow due to the polarization drift some net current will flow so we are studying plasma so we have to talk about plasma and plasma is ionized form of gas which shows collective behavior and quasi neutrality so let's for the simplicity we only say that plasma is showing is ionized form of gas it will have positive ion and electron okay simplicity we have a positive ion and elect a negative charge and a positive charge then they will place in electric field okay so they will move let's say that we have placed a electric field like this positive and negative for understanding i'm placing them uniform they are uniform and they are constant with respect to time for simplicity so the positive charge ion will move in in along the field which be in this direction and the negative electron will move in this direction 
now what happened okay is the relative mo their relative motion is same they are moving with the same relative velocity no they are not they are not moving with the same relative velocity yet they are not gyration their gyration is not with the, their gyration is not same omega c is equals to q b over m and this is the mass of electron and uh, for ion it will be something else and the mass of electron is smaller than mass of ion so if we say that their their momentum is conserved so this electron will have greater velocity okay this electron have greater velocity uh, i'm talking that this electron will get on that will accumulate on this plate earlier than this positive charge because the velocity of this positive charge is very 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 less than this of electron okay so let's say that velocity of electron a positive one ion will move to a negative and a electron 10 electron goes here till that time in three seconds one positive electron moves here but 10 electron moves this word this will make a potential different if one positive ion goes here and one electron goes here no no net potential difference because each of the positive is going this way and this way and they both have same charge but now in our case the charge is not same we will develop some potential difference and because of that drift or because of that potential difference because of that drift velocity of this positive ion and the negative electron we will have a some net current okay we will have some net current and we have we are going to calculate that net current so let's move on to our derivation now you understand why we are using this equation and why we are going to calculate our current polarization current density so due to polarization drift some net current will flow you understand why so now we have a formula i is equals to n q a v this is v of p you can write this as a v of p because this is drift velocity for uh, simply it is a drift velocity but now we are considering uh, you can write it simply v or v of p so both will be true for that in this is the formula from the 12th grade in my 12th grade when i was in the 12th grade i also read this formula and i remember i still remember we call it nakvi okay n a q v nakvi we call it nakvi just like uh, f is equals to bina cos alpha we call it bina cos alpha someone call it nayab and uh, they, they have different words to remember them and this was the formula we recall by calling it nakvi okay so this is i equals to nakvi okay and this was the formula of electric of current in with respect to its drift velocity okay this is the formula in which this is the relation between current and the drift velocity dividing this a on left side we will have this as a volume current density this formula will become the volume current density and it will be equals to n q v now this volume current density is equals to n q v and we can say that for ion this current density will be equals to n i the number of ions e v i p this is the drift velocity for ion and this is the drift velocity for electron i've shown you earlier that how ions and electron will have drift velocity they will move in different directions so now the total current this is for the ion this is for electron now for the total current we are going to sum this j of p equals to j i p plus j e p uh, this equation just take a screenshot and if you've written this already written this thing so let's move on from this formula i rewrite this equation here so now from the cosine neutrality we know that the plasma 
have two properties that it shows collective behavior and it have quasi neutrality but quasi neutrality means that the number of the overall number of ions and electrons are same and we say that I, n i is congruent to n e is congruent to n okay so we are going to write the this formula is replaced by n this factor n i is replaced by n and this is also replaced by n so this n e and this n e will be taken as a common here and v i p minus v e p this equation will become this now what we are going to do is this v p is equals to 1 over mega c d e by d t we already proved in this equation here equation 3 you can write it as equation 3 and from equation 3 you can say that v, v of p is equals to this term then v i p will be equals to putting the value of omega c this v of p will be equals to this okay this b will be multiplied out with this one and b b square and v i p will be equal to this equation and similarly v e p will be equals to i've written this formula of v e p i think and here it is this is the formula for v i p and this is the formula for v e p putting these two formula in equation one here and here putting that value here and here we will have an equation like this okay taking e common from denominator and cancelling out from this this will be cancelled out for this and this we will have this b square common and n over b square into m i plus m e okay and this d e x over d t is taken common outside toward right now we have our final equation in in our book f and it, it is named by m capital m and small m okay so i wrote this m i for the ion and this m e for electron for our simplicity is because it's easy to understand so now this m i n into m i plus m e is equals to rho this is equals to charge density and this charge density is, is called mean density and we can write our final equation for the charge current polarization current drift polarization current drift or polarization current density because of drift polarization drift the formula will be this okay so in our next topic we are going to talk about magnetic mirror what magnetic mirror is and uh, till that assalamu alaikum and watch my lecture and if you like my lecture just subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up